Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lara or Lara Lakes Mascara and today we are doing the wrap up of my Graveyard Project hand series. So I wanted to dress a little bit spooky. This was actually the shirt that I wore for Halloween, not on actual Halloween. I kind of had two different costumes. I was like a vampire and I thought this was a nice like spooky, creepy <laughs> shirt. I wore it as Bellatrix a few years back. Anyways, it is of course November now because this is the Graveyard Project pan. I mean, you probably know what this is if you clicked on this video, but basically Graveyard is basically referring to products that we've had in our collection a long time that we are dusting the cobwebs off of because we never reach for these products. I excel at those kinds of products. I have tons of them. There's a lot of products that I don't usually reach for, especially older things. Although definitely this no buy slash low buy amp project pan has helped me to get better acquainted with my full collection and especially older things because I want to get those out. So I have to decide, you know, am I going to declutter this or am I going to pan it? So I've been forced to make a lot of those decisions. Even with this project, I found a couple of things to get rid of. So that was super helpful. And this started just before halfway through the year. I think my first video was like May maybe April. And this is the wrap up. So we only have half a year as compared to a project pan, which typically you do it for the whole year. So I didn't finish as many products as I usually do with my project pan, but this was still fun to like introduce another project partway through the year. So let's just get into it. I think I will talk about what I did finish because I have a very exciting empty. <sighs> Thank goodness that this is done. This is the Laura Mercier powder. I cannot tell you when I got this. I can't, I can't even tell you what year I got this. I've had it so long. If I didn't finish this soon, I probably would have had to get rid of it because it, it has a scent, a not good scent. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, no, 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 no. So bad. So bad. I, I honestly, I can't believe that I was still using this the past couple weeks because it really got bad lately. But I mean, you can see how large this thing is 29 grams of powder as compared to let's look at this Mac blush I've got. How big is this one? Six grams. <laughs> This is 29 grams and this is six grams. So that just, you know, gives you some kind of comparison for how large this product was. Of course, you're probably, at least if you're me, using a bit more powder than blush because powder goes over kind of your whole face and blush is just on the cheeks. Although, you know, people are using blush everywhere these days. This is another blush. This was only 3.5 grams of product. So I think you're getting, you know, some kind of comparison there. But anyways, I had this in the graveyard, you know, in the, in the graveyard, in the graveyard project pan for the past few months, as you can see. And then I've also been working pretty much exclusively on this powder. Mm, I want to say two years. Can it have been that long? Maybe a year and a half. Cause I did have another powder that I was working on earlier in my low buy. So yeah, this has been a long time coming really really glad that it's out it's also so bulky you know like my other powders are quite a bit slimmer they're more they look more like this so it's nice to get this out and also out of my bathroom because i get ready in my bathroom so i have all of my makeup there and this is just it's too big it's too big a product i also recently finished an eyebrow kit which is like three different products and it's also so nice to get that out of the bathroom and out of my getting ready area it just gives me more space now. That's nice. Uh, let's talk next about a product that I'm actually going to be decluttering. I did already say that I'm going to be decluttering this. In my last Graver Project Pan update, I said that I would declutter this soon. <laughs> At the end of this project, it would be going. And I wasn't sure if I would stick to that because this morning I was kind of like, oh, I don't, you know, I don't feel like I got that much use out of this this month because I've been using my NARS bronzer a lot. But no, it's, it's time to go. <laughs> Look at it. Look at the way that the, the bronzer looks. It's just, it's not great. And I did actually get a bunch of use out of the blushes, which was nice. This middle one still has quite a bit of pigment show up, but the other two, they're such 
hard pans even when I like scrape it off it just it becomes a hard pan again and that's exactly what happens to the bronzer part and so what was happening was every day I was using my eyebrow spoolie to like scrape at it and get some product so it was like loose <laughs> bronzer powder and then I would use that on my face but it's just annoying and it looks ugly I don't like it so I'm saying goodbye to this I use it for the last time today I use the bronzer as bronzer and I use the blush so yeah saying goodbye um i don't think this would have happened if not for my graveyard project pan so thank you to all of you for encouraging me and thank you to myself for putting this in the graveyard project pan really glad that that's another bronzer out of my collection i did already sort of tease <laughs> the blushes so i will mention them here unfortunately i don't have good news about either of these i do think that since the beginning of the project i have made quite a bit of progress on these much more so than i had especially for this one this mac blush i mean i never reached for this i think because it's super like it's not my favorite blush but it is pretty i definitely don't have any other blushes this color and so I'm glad to have this in the rotation, like even mentally, I know that this is a blush that I can reach for, I do like. And then this Milani blush, I am really seeing some progress, at least since the beginning of the project, it's a bit flatter now. And I know that this works well for me in the spring and summer, not as much in the fall and winter, but at least, you know, the Graver Project Pan takes place in the spring and summer. So I got some good use of, out of that when I could. I do have a blush in my, project pan that I'm really trying hard to work up so I'm gonna blame that for being the reason why I didn't reach for these two very much but this is overall like a pretty good update so hopefully that will temper things yeah I think I just it's hard for me to pan more than one blush at once sometimes I can do two but if I'm really really focusing on one like I am for that other blush because I want it done by the end of the year it is difficult for me to reach for other ones so it's just something to keep in mind for me for the future. Let's talk about another declutter. <laughs> Again, I don't think that this would have happened if not for this Graveyard Project pan because I legit never reached for this. I do not like potted lip balms. You know what? It doesn't smell that bad. It's a, it's quite a pleasant scent and I mean, I wouldn't want it as a body mist, but as a conditioner, I think this would be a nice conditioner, maybe even body lotion if it was a little bit tamed down, but it's, this it, is quite a strong smell. This is from e.l.f. from who knows how many years ago. It has supposedly SPF 15, definitely not anymore because I've had it for so long. But what I tried to do was melt it down and put it into like a, a stick lip balm because I reach for those way more and it did not work out whatsoever. I'm glad I did it so that I know not to do that again, but I used up a bunch of it. Like that's something, but I also decluttered part of it. It was impossible to get it all into that tube. So some of it was like wasted and on paper towel and whatever, but yeah, I don't, I still, I told myself that I would use my little lip brush and put it on my lips, but I, I just haven't done it. And so earlier this week I was like, I'm, I'm filming the Graveyard Project Pan update <laughs> and I need to get some use out of it before I do so that I can say I got, you know, a little bit more in the last week or so, but I just never did it. So I ultimately decided it's fine. I'm just going to have to be okay with the fact that I didn't use this up entirely. I'm obviously going to get rid of that amount that's left and then recycle the container. Actually, you know, I think this would be a handy container, so I probably will hang on to this for future. And that's helpful too, because now I have an extra <laughs> container spare to use if I need it. Thank you for all of your <laughs> support in this project. I think you guys are all like more willing to declutter things than I am. I'm willing to use things to their last drop, even if I hate them. And most of you guys are like, just throw it out. <laughs> Please stop trying. And I am. I'm stopping trying with this thing. I'm stopping trying with the Physicians Formula Bronzer. Look at me. I'm making progress. I should check how many of these things I have decluttered since starting the Graveyard Project Pan because that would be really interesting. I don't think that any of those things I would have decluttered if not for this project. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, the camera wasn't working, so I'll try to regurgitate what I just said. But I went back and checked out how many products I have decluttered since the beginning of this project, and there have been five. So on top of the two I already mentioned, we've got 
Ooh, the elf bronzer duo. So if you recall, I actually fully panned a blush that I had in a set with a an elf bronzer. I fully panned the blush, but then the bronzer I never reached for. So I wanted to use it a little bit, decide if I wanted to keep it, but ultimately it was too old. Like I just didn't feel comfortable using it. So I decluttered it, I think after one or two months in this project don't regret that i'm really glad that i did that and then the other thing that i decluttered was a silver glittery eyeliner which first of all i never reach for i never use silver eyeliner or eyeshadow or anything silver and it was just dried out all of these things i'm so glad to have gotten them out and i don't think i would have if not for this graveyard project pan and then the final thing that i decluttered slash am decluttering today right now is this Maybelline Eye Studio quad. So this previously had four shades. There was a cream slash white color that I used in my inner corner and on the brow bone. And then there was this shade, which is my favorite one. And I depotted it into a different container. And then there's a gold shade and then a very dark brown. That very dark brown, I never reach for. I don't like it as an eyeliner and it's too dark for what I like as an eyeshadow. The gold one, I mean, it looks so pretty in there. I like, let me do a little swatch root. I put it on my finger sometimes. Actually, now it doesn't look very nice. <laughs> the gold, that's the gold there. It just kind of looks muddy. And then that's the brown, those two there. I have other gold shades that are much nicer. So that is why I'm okay decluttering those. And then my favorite shade is this one which honestly at this point, it's just kind of a hassle to use it, but I want to use it up before the end of the year. And I have the gold shade and that favorite one there on my eye today. And it doesn't look bad. Like I think that it's fine, but something about it, whenever I use any of these colors, I'm just like not that excited about the look. I'm not really that into it. And so it's time to say goodbye to them, which is really exciting because that is one less eyeshadow palette to have in my collection. I think my overall palette collection has really, really changed this year. And I'm excited to show you that in my inventory in December because I've gotten a bunch of new palettes, like new secondhand, and I've decluttered pretty much all of the palettes that I wasn't ever reaching for. So I'm much happier with my palettes right now. And this was sort of the final, <laughs> the final one to go. I was just hanging on because I used to love it so much, but not anymore and looking at this it makes me think about what i'm bringing i'm going on a trip with my partner shortly and only one of these products am i going to bring on that trip with me i think that shows how little well maybe two i could bring the oil blotting sheets how little i like the the products in this or at least i've realized that i dislike most of them whereas in my project pan i think quite a few of those items i am going to bring with me on the trip so <laughs> yeah this graveyard project pan is just me like putting in things that i really really dislike apparently but hey it's effective because otherwise i i wouldn't have realized that i wouldn't have decluttered these things i just wouldn't have known so i definitely will be doing it next year i'll say that much also, if you're curious about my trip, you can follow me on my personal Instagram down below. I'll have it linked. I'll be posting travel content and I'll try to keep up with my makeup Instagram, but um, <laughs> no promises. Really just not <laughs> happy with how my hair is looking today. Well, but anyways, okay. Also, let's just do a quick tally before I go further. So I finished the Laura Mercier powder. I finished, well, no, I'm decluttering the e.l.f. lip balm and the eyeshadow quad so that's already three products that i am getting out of this project which is good because i think that my goal i said last time that i wanted to end with seven products out of this graveyard project pan and how many do i have remaining one two three four five six seven perfect perfect just as expected but yes this lip balm is the nyx soft matte lip cream oh Oh no, it looks smudged. That means I got it somewhere. It is that shade there. And you might think, oh, that looks pretty bright pink, kind of hot pink, which is not usually what I like, but I don't put it quite as opaque as that. So it looks really nice on my lips usually. I'll put on a bit right now, actually. Mm. And because this is in the shade Istanbul and that is where I'm going, I'm gonna have to bring this with me. Is that the only reason why I'm bringing it? 
No, but it is most of the reason. This is something that I have stayed, you know, really liking all throughout this project. And the only reason I put it in this is not because I don't reach for it. It's because it's so old. I need to get it out. And somehow it's still kicking around, even though I've had it for so long and I really enjoy it, which usually means that it'll get finished off. Like I reach for this way more frequently than I do for other lip products. So I don't know how it's still kicking, but you know, I'm okay with that. I think I could still use this up eventually organically but yeah still here still kicking the next thing is this elf shine eraser blotting sheets usually i can't get them out but i found this one in my makeup bag just so you can see what it looks like it's kind of like a beige-ish color i don't really know how you would describe it and it's very effective at sopping up oil but i don't feel like i need blotting sheets in my life so i was just trying to finish them off there's still quite a few left which is fine like I, I will use these up organically eventually putting them in this was just more incentive to use them more because I did have two sets of these before so I finished one off I believe sometime within the graveyard project pan so yeah these are two that I I have no problem with I'm happy that they're still around I just wanted to incentivize myself to use those sheets up a little bit more we've got this highlight now this is a MAC highlight and again I reach for this organically all the time but there's just so much in it like you can only use up so much highlight because it only goes on one small region of your face so yeah, not much to report there, but I actually reached for this a little bit less than I usually do. I used a bunch of other highlights this month, kind of to see what I wanted to bring with me to Turkey, but it's not gonna be this one. Surprisingly, I'm gonna bring other highlighters. I'm a little bit tired of this because it's been my Graveyard Project pan for months now, and this is pretty much the only highlighter I've used up until this point, but I am glad that it was in the project to incentivize myself to reach for this rather than other ones, but I, I didn't expect it to be finished, but I'm still a bit disappointed because I don't know if you can tell any difference between when I started using it at the beginning of this project and now. There's just so much product. Okay, I thought I had two more things to discuss, but I think it's just the one because I only have 10 products today. I started out this project with 13 and you know, I've just slowly curated, gotten some things out. I did bring some new things in, of course. That's why I didn't end up with, well, I mean, I'm ending up with seven today, but starting with 10. Does that make sense? Anyways, this last product is the Bonnie Bell Eye Define Eggplant Eyeliner. I started out this project thinking that I would be decluttering it immediately after one update, but it's actually really grown on me. I am wearing this today, though I don't think you can tell because I'm wearing that other eyeshadow. There is an upcoming video where I'm only wearing this and no eyeshadow, so, you know, I'll try to remember to say this is that eyeliner. Let's see if you can tell. I didn't reach for this very often to be honest, but I still do like it and I might keep it in my makeup bag to remind myself to use it because I feel like if I take this out of the makeup bag, I will forget to use it. Not because I don't like it, but you know, out of sight, out of mind, and also it's purple. So anyways, let's compare how much progress we've made since last time. No way. This is wild. Okay, I must have broken the, the tip like multiple times because look at that amount of progress between those two. First there, then there, and now there? How did I possibly use that much up? I think I must have broken this multiple times, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll try to be more careful in the future. I do like this product, but I do ultimately want to use it up. I had thought earlier today about possibly moving over a bunch of things from my graveyard project pan into my end of the year project pan or just like keeping them in mind for things I wanted to finish by the end of the year. But I actually think it might make more sense for some of these to put them in my project pan for next year. Like maybe this one, if I don't have too many eyeliners, then I could put it in my project pan for next year because I want to keep it top of mind and putting them in projects are the best way to do that. I might put this, like the rest of this eyeshadow into my project pan. We'll have to see. Cause I, I wanna reach for all the things that are left, but I just am not certain that I will if they're not in a project. So the things that we have left are this eyeshadow, this eyeliner, this highlight, this uh, soft matte lip cream, 
these two blushes and the e.l.f. blotting sheets. Out of the 13 products we started with, we have only seven left, which is just over half. I'm really, really happy about those odds. I'm really happy to have like learned what I have taken from it, from this project and gotten to know these products better. That's always the hope with project panning anything and I think I'm gonna have to do this again next year it was a lot of fun yeah I don't know if there's anything you're supposed to say at the end to, as like wrap up I think I've covered everything it's kind of weird to end a project part way through at least with my project pans when I do the update at like the end of the year I also introduce the products for the next year but obviously I'm not doing that now because I won't start this project until you know March or April or whenever it is but you can look forward to that because I'm definitely going to be doing this project again so thank you so so much for watching I hope you enjoyed I hope you had a spooky season so got some pumpkins going here happy Halloween and great start to your November I am of course going to be talking about a book that I have been reading lately so this is Our Missing Hearts by Celeste Ng. I have read both of her previous books, Everything I Never Told You and Little Fires Everywhere. Little Fires Everywhere was adapted into a TV show, which I never watched because honestly I didn't like that book that much, but Everything I Never Told You, that was my favorite book of 2018. I loved it, it broke my heart. And actually both of those books I listened to on audiobook. So this is the first Celeste Ng book that I'm actually reading like, as a <laughs> paper book but I don't love it. I'm halfway through now and it's different from her other stuff. She's written about families and relationships and this is a dystopia so it is really about the characters still and about this one particular family but it is also a dystopia and I don't know how I feel about that. So basically it's about this boy named Bird whose mother is Chinese American and whose father is white. And this is a dystopia because in the, the future, in this book, there has been some kind of crisis. And the result of it is not only like a, basically a depression across the US, but also Asian Americans and Asians are not trusted whatsoever. Like there's a huge amount of racism and it seems to all be directed against people who are ethnically or you know historically from Japan, Korea, and China. As I've continued reading, it has become more clear basically the recession or depression that hits the US is blamed for no reason whatsoever on China. And so that is why Asian Americans are targeted. It's really well written, like she's a great writer, but I just, I don't know how I feel about the dystopic elements. And it doesn't seem like it's gonna be able to wrap up by the end of the book. Like the world is just in such a bad place. I, it feels real, but it's also like a lot worse than today. And so I don't know how it's all going to wrap up, but yeah, she's still a great writer. So that is going to be it for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Sorry, the battery is running out, so I'm afraid that the camera is going to die soon, so I'm talking kind of fast. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you next time. Bye!